Hey, this is Frank Raddus. We're here at day three at the Cable Convention 2013 at the Red Touch Media Experience, and I'm with Tom Rogers, the CEO of TiVo. TiVo is uh, probably the primary uh, first DVR that ever uh, hit the market, but now it's way more than a DVR. That is true. We uh, are here with the cable industry because we now have 10 of the top 20 MSOs in the country who have chosen TiVo for their next generation television experience, which essentially means we're framing the entirety of that viewing experience. Live television, of course, recorded TV, over-the-top TV, video on demand, regular traditional channels, all the broadband content now connected to the TV. How do you put all that together into a single experience using a single user interface, using a single box, using a single remote that can get you the ability to access, discover, and search for across any of those sources, not knowing where any of it's coming from. And that has put us in a position to kind of organize the world of content for the cable operators. We've then taken that and kind of mobilized it, meaning it get it to the mobile phone, the second screen, all the other devices that people are now watching television through. And the third phase of that beyond organizing and mobilizing is personalizing. How do you then take all that content and the personalization of the devices and personalize the content experience, getting it right down to the stuff that people most care about every time they turn on their television set so it's being filtered by what your friends and family recommend, what your professional reviewer that you most follow recommends, what your favorite channels are, by the algorithm that notes what you've watched in the past and therefore what you might be interested in, and getting that to a dashboard of immediately relevant content that you would most care about. So, a lot to talk about with the cable industry here. How's this uh, show been for you so far? The uh, show's been good. A lot of congratulations on the half billion dollar uh, award we got uh, last week from uh, the likes of uh, Google and Cisco uh, settling uh, one more patent litigation, bringing to uh, about $1.6 billion our total cash from various settlements. And uh, a lot of people asking, uh, so uh, with uh, that kind of uh, financial firepower and the uh, turn in the direction you guys have been able to make with the company in terms of now being a really trusted player within the cable industry, where are you going to take it? So, uh, in terms of the company, um, you know, when it was first uh, developed, it was, you know, I, I remember seeing it on an airplane ad going, oh my God, it's finally time that somebody created this device. Uh, to where it is now, is it a consumer company? Is it a licensing company? Is it an entertainment company? Uh, well, it's all those things. Uh, it is certainly a consumer company with a great consumer brand that's always been trusted for standing for innovation and an easy, simple, convenient way to watch television. Um, television, of course, is about the programming and the, and the underlying content, uh, but the experience and how you use television is very much a part of whether that it brings to life the entertainment experience or it's a struggle. And so we are highly engaged with uh, sources of content as well as advertisers in terms of carrying the television with the uh, B2B elements that you need to support television in an interactive, on-demand, next-gen environment. Uh, so, uh, and certainly we have IP licensing characteristics, so we're a consumer company, we're an entertainment company, we're an IP licensing company, and we're a B2B company. Can you tell me a little bit about how TiVo as a company can interact with the creative, with the people who are actually making the programs? Well, probably the most significant way we can do that is TiVo has created software that for a long time has captured every second of viewing data. And what that allows us to do is to know exactly what people watch, what they fast forward through, when people get tired of a show, when they quite frankly turn off an ad and fast forward through it. It's remarkably granular information, far more than the industry currency through Nielsen measures. And our growing number of set-top boxes, or even if we're not the set-top box, we're the software in the set-top box, gives us the ability to pull more and more data. And Giving that information in a way that's usable to both advertisers and programmers to assess what it is that's most resonating with a viewing audience is a critical part of what we can do. Most recently, we've been putting that data together 
with purchase data. So we know, Frank, what your household watches and we know what you buy. And the combination of that is far more powerful than demographic data on its own. Now, we don't literally know it's you because it's anonymized for privacy purposes. But we actually know coming out of a home what it is you watch on TV, what it is you watch on the web, and then what you actually purchase. And relative to the broad demographic categories, which is so much dominated both programming and advertising decisions, these purchase decisions actually refine much more what it is an audience watches, what they go out and do with it, and that's fundamentally more effective information to driving a return for both the programmer and the advertiser. So I can take a look at my home screen and you will deliver back to me some of those things which might be relevant to me demographically. Yes, although it probably won't be because it's relevant to you demographically. It will be because it's relevant to you behaviorally, it will be relevant to you in terms of your purchase decisions, attitude issues. The, um, uh, behind the scenes analytics that you guys are doing. Right. Is that a business for you? Do you sell those? We do. It's a it's a uh, relatively nascent business, but we acquired a company about nine months ago called TRA, which was one of the most easy branding transition exercises ever because it now stands for TiVo Research and Analytics, so we didn't have to change the initials. And uh, we sell that to uh, uh, a few dozen networks, we sell it to many dozen advertisers, we sell it to ad agencies, so it's becoming increasingly a widely used body of, uh, of analytics. So uh, finally, what are some of the new cool things that you guys are announcing here, That uh, some new product? Well, uh, the one we are showcasing here beyond uh, TiVo Mini, which is uh, something about this size that allows you to get your TiVo to other sets in the house without getting a new DVR or TiVo Stream, which is the only solution in the cable industry that actually lets you get your recordings obviously the stuff you most care about to your tablet either to watch somewhere else in the house or to take with you is another second screen application which we think is going to really help people and that is what's called what's on now it's a dashboard that basically gives you that personalized view of exactly what your choices are that instant when you turn on television from what you are have either indicated or your favorite channels, your recordings that you have there, uh, what sports you have indicated you have particular interest in that happen to be on now, uh, other indicia of your personal uh, world of television that you would want reduced from the millions of choices that TiVo en enables you to get and having that in such a manageable way that uh, that notion of being an entertainment company and bringing the entertainment to life is made much more individual. So I'm a huge fan, you know that. Um, I think that you guys have really created the whole what you want, when you want it uh, genre. It's, it's about TiVo and I, I uh, congratulate you on everything that's been happening uh, in these uh, last few months and few years. And uh, this is Frank Raddus here at the Red Touch Media booth with Tom Rogers, CEO of TiVo. Ciao for now.